Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back for what is probably the final episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds expansion. We're gonna go on a big game hunt and kill off the last four remaining fire claws. These uh, opponents are really formidable, so that's how we're gonna go in depth a bit. So you can see one over there. I kind of caught its attention before. Uh, it's just looking at me funny now. But I have a sharp shot bow equipped and that didn't do all that much, but let's just go for it actually because the damage is pretty high. Oh god, lava, lava from the floor. So we're gonna try and take out most of its components pretty easily, so the armor, just so we can uh, start taking out some of the bits. Seems like we're in a pretty good position here because there's a few things that can obstruct the uh, fire claws ranged attacks. Oh god. Where is he even? There he is. Although it looks like tear blast arrows don't really do anything. So let's just go for a triple fire uh, precision arrow. Aim for. Ah, oh, okay. So the second one called past the tree there. Because the chest piece is the big attraction here in the first phase. And hardpoint dios are the best way of dealing with everything in the first phase. And rolling in between its legs, of course. Oh, cool. Unless if it turns around like that. That was stupid. Wonder if I actually were was smart this time and took some... Nope, didn't take any more health potions than before. Looks like it has a bit of trouble navigating around this, uh, this tent here. Let's go with the triple arrows again and then knock him. Oh, there goes the side bag. Okay, he's going uh, underneath, underneath, Dark Souls, Dark Souls tactics. Come on, buddy. That was bullshit. So if you have the time, definitely go for three times uh, hard point arrows. It's actually kind of losing me if I... Ooh, did I just shoot the rock out of the sky? That was weird. Let's finish it off with the ice wheel. Seems like I might have the chance here. Or not. Especially with the bigger blasts. Just charge it up, charge it up, charge it up. Ooh, that might not be a good idea. Slowly does it. Reloading, and then the final one. Good night. Ah, oh, I missed it. Come to Papa! There we go. Easy does it. So that was one. Let's see what it uh, got us. And then I'm gonna have to go for a few supplies because I kind of started this without even getting some uh, health potions. Did all right though. Wasn't that uh, difficult. So yeah, definitely go for uh, hard point arrows. And if possible, swap to the uh, incredibly amazing ice rail 
if you have it already, because it's of course a uh, acquired weapon. You can get it, the base version, you get that automatically during the course of this uh, quest. But you need to improve it using uh, the side quest. Uh, so let's head towards the next one and kick its ass as well. Hey, Zaratok. Wait, what the hell? Oh. Okay, so I was wondering why there were only two markers on the map. While there's still three fire claws to kill, and apparently there's two at the same spot. So uh, we're gonna have to pull out all the stops here. So hello, Arata. I can help with those. We have to stop meeting like this. We will. When these are driven from our land. Okay. Oh god. This might be a problem. Because I can't sling. So I want to try out, because I think the bombs actually are really good in uh, taking out the armor of the fire claws. And I look, they, they seem like they're far enough away from one another that I could be able to just start taking some pot shots with a few of them. So he saw, he thinks he saw me. Take it easy. He definitely saw me now. His hands are on fire. I'm, I'm in the grass, but I'm apparently not really visible. Who oh got? So I'm definitely hurting the armor here and the stunning is working as well so now I'm out of blast bombs let's make 12 more and just unload on these guys oh god and that, that was that was a miss that was all the way on top of them seems like a direct hit to the face actually stuns them pretty badly okay so I'm gonna keep a few of them in stock just to counter direct attacks okay not like that obviously because they keep losing me as well uh... oh now what can I no I can just critical hit him it's not going to do a lot of damage, I think. The armor is really sturdy, though. Where is the other one? Oh, god. So this little precipice is really good in keeping them separated. I want to take out the shock course at its back. Holy shit, he's on fire! What does that even mean? Let's make a few more arrows. Knock two more. Holy shit! Uh, Aratak, you can go ahead and uh, start attacking. Oh, that was in my face. That was definitely in my face that as well because I think oh god could I wait could I have overridden him no that was a triangle for uh I don't even see him anymore. He's in the middle with a giant piece of rock. I think I should... Oh god, the uh, flamethrower attack. Ow. Alright, Doc, stop running around like an asshole. That's a chest piece. I want to take that out because that flamethrower attack is really, really... Ow. Will you please focus on the guy in front of you and not on me?
The ice seem to be very weak as well. Because that was 700 damage in the eyeball. I mean, it's a small area to hit, but... And through it. There's one. Now I think I should be able to just blast away the other one. Let's see how that stunning actually works. Oh god, that's not a good, a good sign. Woo! He just put that on top of us. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that was, that was, I gotta give him to him. That was really nice. Now maybe, now maybe, now maybe, now maybe, now maybe. Boom! There goes the chest. He's slowing down. He's really slowing down. Maybe on the shoulder. There we go. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks. Two of us, two of them. More of a fair fight. Their numbers are much depleted, thanks to you. We shall end this threat. Keep Cyan safe. She speaks as the shamans do. Only clearer. There's an echo of my sister in her. Take care of each other, Artok. Farewell. Ooh, but before we kill Killing the last time. fire claw, I really want to have a final. What the hell is this? Ducking down, fools! Seriously? Where are these bandits coming from? You're dead. That's in the face. Seriously, where do you guys come from? Wouldn't want to be you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I want to be you. Head, shoulder. There we go. So I do want to get a photo with one of those fire claws, preferably when they're ablaze, because that would be awesome. So let's go hunt that final fire claw, and let's see if we can not make a pretty picture with him as well. See you guys in a second. So, all the way back up in the mountains should be our last fire claw. And this scene, I mean, I can't imagine a better place to take a picture from that fire these claw. Things again. Oh god, yeah, yeah, these things again. Um, can you please get off the... She was picking up... Ooh, is that a Ravager? I think that's the first Ravager we've seen in this DLC. Because, well, they've mainly been replaced by Scorchers. I think might actually be able to override that thing. Override, there we go. Oh, there goes a bit of the armor. I don't think the Fire Claw noticed. Yeah, okay. Now he'll notice. Oh yeah, okay. That might be an issue. Let's just stand in between here and let's see what I can do with photo mode. I mean, just look at this shot. This is awesome. There we go. That's a first screenshot saved, but now I'm going to have to return to reality and I'm right in front of a fire claw. But hey, here we go. Oh God. Oh God. Ow. That was, that was, why would you target me? Ow. Again, why would you target me? I also need to start equipping my potions. Man, the Ravager is almost dead already. What the hell is this now? There's a Scorcher! There's a Scorcher! There's a Scorcher! Oh god. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Was that a weapon I can use? No. Oh, 
Holy shit. I mean, it's an impressive beast. So there's still a Scorcher up there, but he seems to have uh, kind of left. I really need to start. Stun it, stun it, stun it. Okay. He's going into angry mode. Oh, there's way too many alert thingies on my screen now. So I don't know where the Scorcher went. Mine launcher. Okay, so that was the weapon of the Scorcher. There it's going again. I think I might want to swap over to the ice rail to finish it off in style. Come on, buddy. Wanna try and get up to me? Or you just gonna stay there? Nope, you can't reach me. Oh, he can. Please, please. There we go. Oh, and the Scorcher is back in time. Hey, buddy. Level 57. He still doesn't know where I am. I'm here, buddy. Come on, Scorcher. Killed six fire claws. There goes the Scorcher's ass. And there he goes. <laughs> this weapon is brutal. Ooh, fancy things. And I took a lot of screenshots. I might actually show you guys these uh, in a second. Because I actually made a, a few nice things in photo mode, if I do say so myself. Where is the Scorcher? I think that's him, yeah. There we go. Killed another Scorcher as well. Because I think there's a, another trophy as well, aside from the one we just got for six fire claws. I think there's one to kill nine or twelve Scorchers. We're not even close to that, because I think by now we killed almost more fire claws than we did Scorchers. But um, as far as the series goes, I think we still need to... Uh, Go talk to our attack. So let's go and do that. So to finish off this quest, this episode and this series in general, we need to talk to Null Took. So, uh, hello, sir. I heard. Our attack told me about Araya. I'm... I'm sorry, Null Took. No apologies. Our attack said that in the end, she was filled with the blue light. She got what she always wanted, didn't she? Each time I doubt my way forward, I think I should seek her guidance. And then I remember. The only guidance I'll receive is my own. Which will have to be good enough. There's much to do. The there is? Aratak asked me to help hunt them down. It's a dire task. But it occupies my attention, so... I suppose I'm grateful for it. My scouts have tracked them across the cut. Um... What? Wait, what? We, we took care of that. Did we need to talk to you before we started this quest? Because we got this quest from Aratok, so... I'd like to think you're right, Naltuk. About Araya getting what she wanted. I think... I'm sure she did. All her victories. Surviving the Karja. Communing with the spirit. Defeating the daemon. Every goal she ever set for herself, she accomplished. And in the end... She was rewarded with the blue light itself. I don't think she wanted to be electrocuted alive. The songs say that our bodies are poor vessels for the light. Our hearts are too dark. But at least for a moment, before she passed, 
I hope she felt what it was like to be part of it. I think it hurt a lot getting electrocuted by that thing, but what about your own guidance? You don't sound like you trust yourself to take Aurea's place. Aurea inspired. Whatever we encountered, the new machines, the slaughter at Thunder's Drum, we knew we would endure because she had endured worse. I don't know that I have her confidence. Trust is earned, Aloy. Even in oneself. You earned Aurea's trust, didn't you? She believed you were up to this. And so do I. Do you? I wouldn't have said it if I hadn't meant it. And I suppose I'd better live up to your expectations. Indeed you have to. So, about those fire claws you just sent me away for, um... That has already been taken care of. I've already found of. the fire claws in Altuk. It's over. That's it then. That's the last of the Damon's work washed away. The last notes of Aurea's song sung. I think there's still a few control towers left, but hey. The cut is a safer place to live because of what you've accomplished. And now it's time to start anew. I'm glad I could be a part of it. As are we all, Aloy. Thank you. The machine spirits and there we go, out of the forge completed, and that is the last of the, well, more interesting side quests. I still can do the hunting grounds and collect all the collectibles, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Well, uh, off screen, of course, I'm going to do that. Um, that is actually a fitting end to this series, unless there's any more side quests available, but I don't think there are. Uh, it's actually been a very pretty long expansion so that's about 10 hours of playtime for me personally where we've got a lot of new weapons such as the ice rail on my back and uh, met a few new characters lost one of them and uh, uncovered a new secret and a lot of new machines as well awesome. which we ended in this episode with the slaughter of four more fire claws it was epic but uh, it has come to an end. So thank you guys and all for watching. If you enjoyed this series, don't forget to check out, um, well, any of my other series. I'm gonna do next up. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to talk about that first. Um, since this series is now done, I'm still gonna do the Destiny 2 adventures, but that's been, uh, well, received a little more coldly than uh, everything else, which I understand given the, uh, well, the, the troubles that the game has. Uh, but for the next playthrough, I think I'm gonna do something special in Fallout 4. I wanna do Fallout 4, which I've been trying to do on the channel for a while now. I've done a few streams, but that didn't really work out. But I wanna do a special playthrough in a Fallout 4, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much. If you have any thoughts about that, please let me know in the comment section. But uh, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do. So uh, look forward to that in the very near future. Um, but yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed the series, don't forget to check out anything else on the channel, such as, for example, Group Therapy, where we uh, try to beat Dark Souls 3. Well, two of my friends try to beat Dark Souls 3 on their own, and they are both complete noobs to the series so that's actually a very fun series to watch if i do say so myself but uh there's lots of other rpg playthroughs and uh well mostly rpgs actually on the channel so uh you can check that out as well so thanks again anonsi for watching and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye Banu.